was given to them. So this is exactly the same understanding when we use the verses of the Bible in that context. We don't learn something new, which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already revealed in the Quran. But this is the method we use for da'wah purpose. Sometime our brother and sister say, oh, we're learning uh, the Bible here. No, no, we're not learning Bible here. We just quote the Bible, we confirm what Allah revealed to them before, which is the correct understanding. Okay. And that's, that's how the process. So in order to bring the people towards the, towards the understanding of Islam so they can focus about what we believe, it's very important to acknowledge the Prophet Abraham or the Prophet, which is the father of both Ishmael and Isaac. If you look into this chart, <coughs> there's a Prophet Isaac, which is we in Arabic we call Ishaq al -Islam. Prophet Ishmael, which is the Ismail al Islam, which is Ishmael, this the same name they have. And is, uh, Isaac is called Ishaq. And from Isaac we see Jacob, which is a Yaqub al Islam, which is in, uh, in Arabic. And from Yaqub, which had a 12 son called Children of Israel. Now, these 12 sons called Bani Israel or Children of Israel is a very famous, everybody knows when the 12 tribes are Children of Israel. Now, from these 12 tribes, we see many prophets and messengers come from, and the most famous is we know Musa, salam, which is Moses. He comes from the tribe called Levi, a Levite. And from this, from this tribe, the same tribe, and the Harun is the prophet, well, the brother of Moses. And from the same tribe of Imran, the mother of Jesus, Mary, also comes, according to the Quranic verses. The, the Mary comes from the tribe of Imran also. So the, the basically, if you look at the relation of Mary with Joseph, Musa -Islam, and Isa, -Islam, the same tribe they come from. Now, further down we look into one of the prophets we call Judah which is the 12 tribe of children of Israel, he has his government, he has his kingdom in Jerusalem that, those days, and he got power. Then Babylon king came and they destroyed his kingdom. So this little tribe actually got very popular and, and the religion carried with this name is called Ju Judaism, and the people who follow this, this prophet or this kingdom or they live in this uh, area, they were called as a Jew. So the Jew were not something like that. That's why the Quran revealed, the uh, Quran says about the Prophet Abraham, Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian. Because the Jews came after the descendant of Abraham, which is from Jacob. And one of the tribe is Judah, and that's where the Jews come from. Now, others, other, other understanding we see about the Christianity, which the follower of the Christ, follower of the Jesus, when Jesus came, he said, I came to fulfill the law of Moses. Now, if you look at the history, when we talk about the Prophet Musa, we see these people were given this knowledge and wisdom and the law. They followed, but they disobeyed. Now, we see many verses in the Quran and many verses in the Bible. They followed, but they disobeyed. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a mercy on them. He sent another prophet called Dawood, which is called David. He was given a book called Song. And he tried to bring them back to the people, to the word of Allah and the commandments of Allah. And they were teaching them, but again, they had dispute with him. And then introduced a new, many, many new kosher and non-kosher law. Then we see the verses of the Quran talks about when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave <coughs> the knowledge to the Isa alayhi salam. And Isa alayhi salam said, this was the last prophet for the children of Israel. He said, I came to fulfill the law of Moses. Now, when Prophet Jesus came, these people were divided, becomes a Jews and Christian as a theology. So a group of people, they followed Jesus after the, the crucifixion act, and these people were divided. And after 500, then we see this story in, a, in Islamic tradition, that after 571 years later, Prophet Sallallahu comes from the lineage of Ishmael, and he clarified what was the nation came before and what was the message was before how these people were deviated or or followed the different way of understanding of Allah and his commandments. So now this is where we try to convey these people, especially Jews and Christians when we talk to them and say we believe the way of Abraham. Abraham is the father of father of all the nations and Allah promised Abraham that he will make him a father of multitude of nations. And <clears throat> From Ishmael, from lineage of Ishmael, 
the Prophet Sallallahu he comes after 571 years later. And then he was given a message of Tawheed and again calling people towards the belief of the same God what the Christians and Jews believe. Now, when we try to draw attention, we say, we put this actually banner at the booth and said, listen, so the Prophet Sallallahu came to unite the family of Abraham, which divided into Jews and Christians, and also convey the message to the rest of mankind. So the basically, Islam is a religion of children of Israel, children of Ishmael, and all mankind. Because Prophet Sallallahu is the last messenger, and the book is the last book. Allah completed his favor upon us, and he guided us to Islam. And we invite you to the same belief what the Prophet Abraham believed, so then, they say, we never had this understanding before. A lot of time when the Jewish people or the Christians, they come to our booth and we explain them, they say, we have never heard this type of understanding, neither from our church, neither from our rabbi. And now we come to this understanding. This makes sense that the, the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to speak to the all mankind because when the Quran says the all mankind, we created you from male and female into nation and tribe so that you may know each other. And the best among you is the one who is the most righteous one or fearing to God. So when he show this verse like a 49 and 13, we show this verse to them and they they surprised. They say, "What? Wow. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, God is speaking not only the children of Israel or children of Ishmael, but the all mankind." So now their understanding about the God clarified because Allah is not, because if, if, if we bring the Allah favored a nation just based on because of descendant of Abraham and we are chosen, then the people say, well, how could God be a one-sided with the people of the book in a way or, or, or the Jewish people, they call them the children. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clarified in the Quran, Prophet Ibrahim asked for this prayer. He said, will you guide me to my descendants? Say, I'll guide the one who is the righteous one. So it's meant the criteria, Allah subhanahu wa maintain the same criteria. When I say, oh, oh, mankind, we created you from male and female and nation and tribe so that you may know each other. And the best among you is the, in the inside of Allah is the most righteous one. So the criteria is not the, the bloodline here. The criteria is not who is the rich or a poor or a black or white or Arab or, is, or a Jew. No, the criteria is the who has more taqwa, who is the most righteous. This is the understanding when we gave it to Jewish people and the Christian, and they understand, they say, this is fair. This is the fair deal. Because Allah is, has to be just for all mankind, not particular segment or society. So that's the one thing they, they, when they clarify. And also we quote sometimes the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu says, every child is born in a state of nature. It is their parents make them Jews, Christian, or okay. And when we quote this hadith to the Prophet to these people of the book, they said this is the correct understanding. There's no doubt about it. If you take a child and you raise him, if you are a Jew, you will raise him as a Jew. If you are a Christian, you will raise him as a Christian. There is no doubt. This is a fact. I said if this is a fact and the Prophet is inviting you to join the family of Abraham the way we believe and where you're supposed to believe, so then you say, yeah, we, we take your word, we understand that, it makes sense for us. So the many people, when they come to our booth, a Jewish couple came and they said, Alhamdulillah, we, we, we never had this understanding before. The whole couple, they took the copy of the Quran and these charts and they tried to understand. So the whole idea is one of the best thing about when you draw attention to the chart, all the side question will go away. They will not even talk about this, why there's a suicide bombing, why there is a hijab, why women do this, why men, there's not going to be pushed. First, they will have to understand that we believe in the same God you believe. And Allah revealed the commandments in your books and our books. And then we'll talk about the issues and the commandments later. Now, at this point, I will stop any, any questions you have, anything.